Can you hear me? Can you hear me good? Why did I start working here? Because I needed a job. <laughs> I mean, my bills weren't gonna pay themselves, you know. But to tell you the truth, the reason why I came over here was because my mom. And my mom used to work at walk over at uh, Lenore Hall. And she was like, Yo-Yo is my nickname. So she like, Yo-Yo, why don't you go over there to uh, Ram's Head? So I have a few. I have a few that always come up to me. I have a guy, he called me his BFF. Because whenever he comes, I just fix his food just the way he likes it. And he likes that. <laughs> okay, it was raining, right? <laughs> it was it was raining this day and I was a cashier then, right? So the carpet outside of the door, right when you come in, it it done got slippery and wet. Somehow or another got kicked over stuff. So I couldn't go out and turn it over because it was like fifty to eighty students that was still rushing in. But I finally got the line down and the girl, it was a girl, she was a band student. She thought that we were closing because I had came out and I was, I had shut the door. So she come in flying, running, the floor is wet and she falls. <laughs> she turned red as <laughs> Oh, and she turned so red because she was embarrassed, you know. But I ended up helping her up. She was like, are you about to close? I'm like, no, baby, we won't close it. I was just, Fixing the carpet. The craziest thing to me it was uh, we had like one of the theme nights and we had the speaker set up where we could dance and all of that. But my managers do not have no kind of rhythm, so they out here trying to do the shoulder lean, the stinking leg. That it was just nobody knew what they were doing, and they were about was trying to get me to come up. Come on, Katrina, show me. Mm. I'm not getting into that mess. <laughs> In 10 years, oh God, I'm going back to school, get my degree in child and parental psychology. Because being a teacher, it's, I mean, it means a lot, you know? And, the way children are going these days, you need a good teacher in the classroom that's willing to have that patience. And mind you, my mother has 13 kids, so I can deal with it, just about any kind of personality, attitude, whatever it is that the child, whatever kind of problem that a child has, I can just about deal with it. Because I have a lot of sisters and brothers, and if you can see us when we get together, like <laughs> doing our family gatherings and stuff. The reason why I got a Pierce was because there was this gay guy that was in my classroom in, um, in my biology class and when I was in when I was going to Durham the Southern High School and I just wanted to know I'm like wow you got silver in your mouth and it's not on your teeth you know and um and so he was like yeah he was like I got a tongue ring I like so why do you have it he was like I just got it he was like it's kind of like the cool thing now and so I said something to my mom about it of course she flipped out and she raised hell. Why you wanna do that? In the Bible it say, you know, I'm like, okay. But mom, in the end, I'm still gonna do it. When I turn 18 or either now, she was like, well then, you bring home good grades, I'll take you to do it. You know what I'm saying, myself. I brought the grades home just so I can get, you know, my tongue pierced. You have it? Oh, <laughs> you missing out. Really? Mm-hmm. Where should I get pierced? What do you wanna get pierced? But I mean, I don't feel like that young anymore because all of, all of my fun I've had. It's time to sit down, you know. Okay, Journey, I came up with her name from me just having fun all those years. And now that I'm soon to be 30, after a while, my, my mom, she was just pressuring me to have kids. Like, you need to do it before you become a dirt bag, you know. That's how she talked. And, um,. I didn't, I didn't really want to do it, but I know I've had all my fun. I've been to all the clubs, going to the beach, finish school and all of that. I've done all that. So like, she is the beginning of my journey in, mo in motherhood. And it's gonna be a good journey. She's gonna be great. I know she is. It is so easy to get in the ditch so easy to 
<laughs> get in the ditch, but it's hard to get out. Very hard to get out. Very hard. And that you can take that car wise, studying wise, you can take it any way you want to. But any bed you make, you're gonna have to lay in. You're gonna have to. So if it's something that you wanna do, go for it at all costs. If it's something that you really wanna do. Because <laughs> People in the world, they can take anything from you, anything, but they cannot take your education. They cannot take what's in your mind. They can't. And if you let them take that, then you didn't need to have it from the beginning. That's why it's so much easier to get into stuff than it is to get out. There you go. <laughs>